Hello, 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 everyone. It's story time. I'm Miss Allie. A uh, hello today. We're going to start off with a low hello. Can you do that? Hello. And then we're going to do a high hello. Hello. Now let's try and put it together and start off low and go up high. Let's try that. Hello, 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 story time's begun. Let's do a drum roll. It's story time. So my story time today is about going up. What's up above you right now? Have a look. Maybe some lights? A ceiling? Is there a room above you? And above that, what's next? You probably have a roof on your house, maybe a chimney. And what's above that? The sky, maybe some trees. And keep going up, 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 up. There's some clouds up there, maybe. Or maybe you're watching this at nighttime and the stars are out. And a Above that, there is a moon and a whole universe out there. Buckle up and let's see what happens when we go up. So the first story I'm going to read is called Going Up and it is written by Sherry J. Lee. And that means that she wrote the words, but it's illustrated by Charlene Chua, who drew the pictures. It's time to do a song. Let's do the elevator song. Now this song I first heard from Miss Laurie, and she taught Miss Hope, and I learned it from her and practiced so that I could play this with you. I'm going to use my ukulele. We're going to go up the elevator and down the elevator. So this is a great chance to go up and down and get out your wiggles. Oh, the city is great, oh, the city is grand. And there's lots of tall buildings on a little piece of land. And we live up high on the 57th floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. We take the elevator up, we take the elevator down, we take the elevator up, we take the elevator down, we take the elevator up, we take the elevator down, we take the elevator up, and we turn around. So who are you going to teach that song to? Let's look up around the library and see what we see. You might be surprised. Here I am at the Berry Room, and if I look up, I see lights and a ceiling. But if I look up over here, I see a tree and all its colors. We're in this color right now. Oh. And if I look up over here on the wall, there's a rooster. If I look up at the mural, I see the birds in the sky, and Sonia the dragon, and even some squirrels and fairies. And if I look up at this part of the ceiling, there's stars in the sky. And over at the entrance of the berry room, there's some purple tinsel decorating it. It's always been there. You may not have noticed it when you were in before and we have a puffin hanging up over here and lots of artwork way up high and I see mountains and more puffins and over here is like a tweeting place called a survey. It's from Russia. Let's visit the store. Hello owl. Welcome to my store. What would you like to have today? I think I would like 
some strawberry jam, please? Very well, Owl. You may have some strawberry jam. I got a new little hello song for you. You do what I do. We're going to reach up and reach down and then we're going to turn around. We're going to touch the sky. So for this we want to go on tippy toes. Up, 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 up. And then touch the ground. Can you stretch down your leg? Stretch down your leg. And then we're going to wiggle our fingers and wiggle our toes. And then we're going to wiggle our shoulders like that. And we're going to say hello. Hello. So you got that? It goes like this. Up, down, turn around, touch the sky. Can you go on your tippy toes? And touch the ground, reach down really low. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes. Wiggle shoulders and say hello. In this story, they go up very, very high. Up and up and up they go into the sky. This story is called Someone Bigger and it's by Jonathan Emmett. Sam and Dad had made a kite. They made it large. They made it light. They went out on a windy day to see if they could fly it. Can I hold it first? asked Sam. I'm old enough, I know I am. Oh, you're too small, his dad replied. This kite needs someone bigger. Then dad let go and launched the kite, unwound the string and held it tight while Sam stood by and watched and wished that he was someone bigger. But the wind blew hard and the kite flew high and pulled Sam's dad into the sky. And Sam went running after can I hold it not now, asked Sam. I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, his dad replied. This kite needs someone bigger. Well, the kite flew up above the town where people tried to pull it down. A postman with a sack of mail, a robber, escaped from jail. A policeman riding on a horse, a bridegroom, and his bride, of course, there she is in her white dress. But all of them were pulled up too, and Sam went running after. And then by some strange stroke of luck, they flew right past a fire truck where the firemen saw the kite and they grabbed the string and held on tight. But all of them were pulled up too. And Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? asked Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, the people cried. This kite needs someone bigger. The kite flew on, it would not fall. It pulled a rhino from its stall. And the other creatures from the zoo, a tiger and a kangaroo. And all of them were pulled up too. And Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? asked Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, the creatures said. This kite needs someone bigger. Well, then Sam caught the kite at last. He grabbed that string and he held it fast. And even though he wound and wound, his feet 
stayed firmly on the ground. And one by one, they came back down. Everyone from zoo and town, the rhino, tiger, kangaroo, the fireman, the bride, the bridegroom too, the postman, policeman, robber, horse, and last, Sam's dad, of course. I'll hold it now, said Sam, because I'm old enough. I knew I was. I'm not too small, as you can see. This kite needs someone just like me. Good job, Sam. Let's do a tree song while the wind is blowing. This is my trunk, I'm a tall, tall tree. In the springtime, the blossoms grow on me. They open. They open. This is my trunk. I'm a tall, tall tree. In the summer, the breezes blow through me. They sway. I sway. This is my trunk. I'm a tall, tall tree. In the autumn, the apples fall from me. They drop. They drop. This is my trunk. I'm a tall, tall tree. In the winter, the snowflakes fall on me. Brr, brr. Let's go inside a book. This one is called Lift, and it's by Min Lei. And it is illustrated by Dan Santat, who did um, the Beagle books, is a Caldecott winning illustrator. So lift is another way of saying elevator. You can play on the words a lot too, because we lift each other up when we are being kind to each other too. It's not always easy to do that, as you'll find out in this story. There's not a lot of words, so we're going to have to look closely at the pictures. Let's talk about books. All these books are chosen from the nonfiction section. It's got a lot of information over there. And the first one I took is called The Kid Who Invented the Popsicle. And in it, there's a chapter called Elevator, and it tells us how elevators were invented. It was for King Louis XV of France, and he would step out on his royal balcony, and they had a chimney, and people would be inside the chimney with pulleys and ropes to get him from one floor to the next. Then there's a book here called Elevator Magic, and this one talks about math, not just elevators. So it specifically is talking about subtraction, when you're taking away or minusing, and it uses um, the elevator as a way to symbolize that. So an educational book there. Kids are curious. Do you want to know how airports work? This is a wonderful book. It's thick and chunky, and inside it, there are pullouts, and there's also lift the flaps in some sections, too. Oh my goodness, look how big this page is. Whoa, and even in here, we can look inside and find out more of what's going. So that tower is the control tower. That's a very, very important part of an airport. And the last book I pulled is The Kid's Guide to Paper Aeroplanes. And so in our craft, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make 
our aeroplanes go up, 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 up. So we'll do a classic glider, but we're also going to do a spaceship too, because that's a really actually an easy plane to make. And it has a lot of different styles, but we'll make the space ring as well as a glider. All right, let's get ready to say goodbye. Do you remember our up, down, turn around song? We're going to do it again to say goodbye. Up, down, turn around, touch the sky and touch the ground. Pat your belly, blink your eyes, blow a kiss and say goodbye. Mwah! Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Story time is done. Whoosh.